you over the years how many beehives have you prepared more or less more than stingless i have prepared more than 100 colonies wow and so, where are they now all over i have given yeah because what happens there are people uh, asking for colonies so what i do is i do the multiplication i give it now people uh, hold my colonies in margao goa valley then in aldona then in asagao and most of the places in vere everywhere like you know wherever people uh, are like you know interested in all this stingless bees uh, i give it to them survival rate is good very good stingless is very good whereas uh, serena you have to take more care i see because this uh, you don't have much problems yeah so what is the process now supposing i am come to you for bees yes wow. so you will have to give me a lead time Okay. to create a colony might be around 3 months 4 months okay. because uh, see what has happened is because of the flowering pattern here in yeah. goa during yeah. whenever there is flowering it builds up uh, like you know when the colonies are splitted they develop first okay and during a uh, drought period what i mean to say when there is less pollen nectar the flowering is less that time it takes more time so this is after the monsoons no it might be in the month of may april may okay. after what happens when, once the flowering is not there then it becomes a problem and during the rains you have to take care uh, that is also another period like you know stress period yes stress period very interesting and then uh, you can they, we can the person can take it home with minimal amount of instructions and guidance yes stingless bees no no one has to worry okay. on this because they don't sting you and now even schools they want to give awareness on this uh, stingless bees in our days in the 70s beekeeping used to be a subject for vocational okay but uh, that time no one had bees and we couldn't access them and also we used to study from books that's all right. that's all we did we uh, there was a person gentleman in parra whose house we went to okay. our teacher took him took us to his house okay fine uh, so how many people are into beekeeping in goa today at present uh, i feel there are very few people who are like you know who takes uh, more interest in yeah. beekeeping yeah. and who are doing this honey business because uh, might be three four people are there like raika honey you must yeah. have heard yeah, about raika, of course. he he does he gives training also at icr then melvin de souza from apsa yeah. he also does uh, honey bee rearing and training If so people invite you for a talk, you'll go. Yes. Come to Saliga. <laughs> sure. No, no, no. Be- really because seriously. Because one, yeah. one person from Saliga also he does Amroz. Yeah, Amroz. Amroz. He's a good friend of us. Yes. So he he used to do earlier, like you know, uh, in I think so, eighty nine, ninety or something. I see. During that time, but he said like you know nowadays it's becoming difficult to rear Apis serena bees, whereas stingless. you should not have a problem because uh, there is most of the places there are concrete jungles or buildings which are coming yeah and we don't have the trees required because one month they get uh, the flowering the next month there is a drought period so what period drought 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 means uh, like you know once uh, the flowering is not okay dead. so they consume it from the stores whatever they uh, okay they consume it and if they don't get anything then they abscond i see the colonies have gone yes so what happens is uh, continuously they should get pollen and nectar there should be flowering in your area yeah earlier we had all the trees like you know which used to flower month to month like uh, in the month of uh, end of december january mangoes used to flower january yeah. then afterwards jambul then the cycle used to go yeah. now how you hardly find trees there are a lot of missing yes. things in the missing cycle missing things in the yes cycle i see so what what would people need to have a colony fruit fruit bearing trees close by or what yes if their surrounding is good the fruit bearing trees then uh, you can have a good uh, honey bee apiary what i mean to say the setup you can do where you can rear the bees and that will give you a good cross pollination and a good fruit I in see. that area so apart from uh, the general benefits of the environment yes. and all you will get honey and fruit also yes 
honey and fruit basically i rear them for pollination i see the fruit I because see. we increase the yield i see yield goes up you have an experience personal yes, experience for yes. what because for even the mango trees yeah whenever it flowers and the coconut trees whatever we get uh, coconuts besides you see you you might water the trees you might put manure okay. but who will do the cross pollination wow we require the bees to do at all any the, cost to do all the work. otherwise we might require hand pollination to do i know friends who do hand pollination yes. with the toothbrush and all those yes. kind of things yes paint brush for small plants paint Correct. brush right very interesting very interesting uh what how much the, does it cost what is the cost benefit of beekeeping in goa can you make a living out of it if someone takes it seriously if you take it seriously then you can do it i see uh, it can generate employment also but you have to be very like you know sharp in all this to doing all this thing because what happens is you have to migrate yeah. the colonies uh wh- when there is a drought period drought period means when there is uh, no flowering yeah. in your area then you have to migrate it like how the other states do so you have to migrate it wherever there is flowering might be in the kulagar okay what you can say yeah. like you know yeah. wherever the flowering is there because a flowering pattern is different you might uh, see uh, you know certain places there is flowering in january so certain places in the month of march so you have to just keep I on see. shifting the big colonies whereas for this stinglers you don't have any problem you they will survive on your garden plants and whatever is there in your area so that's what 